What's up guys, Josh with Russell Marine Products here. Today we're going over a video that's been requested for quite some time. And unfortunately we just haven't got around to doing it, but today is that day. Today we're gonna go through the process of updating your garment unit using Active Captain. That's right, we're finally gonna do it, doing your update using Active Captain. We're gonna go through both the phone side and the unit side so you guys can see how this goes. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so to get started here, we're gonna need an empty fresh memory card and you're gonna see why here in a second. So start with Active Captain, go ahead and tap. It's gonna tell you, create an Active Captain memory card. This is something that we wanna do to get going. We're gonna need that so all the updates will stay. So go ahead and click it. it says insert memory card. Go ahead and put it in the unit. Uh, for just telling you sake, we order bulk 8 gig micro SD cards off of Amazon. You can find them on there. It's about the best price. If not, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Dollar General, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever. So the memory card's, in, memory card's inserted. And it's going to ask you, um, there's large data transfers and things like that. And you want to tell it to go ahead and format the card. This is uh, really important that we use a fresh, empty memory card. That way you're not formatting and erasing other things. Format card, and it warns you again, all existing data will be erased. Hit yes. So it's creating my card now. Okay, so here we go. Active Captain's pulled up on our unit. The first thing we're gonna do here is go into the menu, hit Wi-Fi setup. That's gonna go through the getting started steps with you, selecting a Wi-Fi wi network, turning it on, and so on. I'm gonna hit the Wi-Fi network button here, and I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi on. This is on my unit. It says press OK to configure the Wi-Fi connection for the first time. Again, we're following the steps here. So it gives you a generic name for your Wi-Fi. Um, this is Garmin 5195 for this particular 93 UHD. Um, here at the shop, we don't generally change them. Um, to be honest, we just kind of leave them alone. You can name them different things if you want, but I just usually leave that alone. Hit next. And now I have a Wi-Fi unit. It's asking you then for a password with at least 12 characters. Hit OK. So I'm going to do a capital here. I'm going to do Garmin. And then I'm going to go to my numbers here. I need six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Making it super tough. Go ahead and hit Done. All right, now I have an active Wi-Fi going. Let's go ahead and hit back. It's gonna take you to your software update screen. It says no owner set right now, no problem. All right guys, so now that our Wi-Fi is set up and has a password on the unit itself, I'm gonna move over to my phone and I'm gonna to connect to this unit's Wi-Fi. Remember Garmin 5195. So go into my settings here. There's my network our super complicated password and join once i show that i'm connected to the the unit's network i'm going to go into my active captain app here we go okay and now on the screen i get the prompt a new active captain user was detected is this unit the owner of the vessel so this is, if it's you, you click yes on that. When you download the Active Captain app, it's gonna ask for your name, email, and all that stuff. If you click yes, it automatically registers this unit with Garmin, which is a really handy feature. So moving forward with warranty or anything like that, your unit's already registered by its serial number. In my case here, I'm gonna click no, and it's gonna say the new Active Captain user was added. Here's a fun side thing. So I update almost every Garmin unit that leaves here for install, which I think is somewhere over 150 or 200 now. So if I go to Lakes, I'm sure there's lots of beeps on different Garmin signals that say, hey, a new user's added and it says my name on there and they're probably wondering what the heck's going on. All right, so let's go back to it. Right now on my phone, 
it's telling me the mobile device is connected. Right now it says so no software updates available on the unit. But on my phone, it tells me software updates available. It says disconnect to download the software updates to your mobile device. So what I'm gonna do now is go back into my Wi-Fi settings. Again, pull down, press my Wi-Fi button. I'm gonna connect back to my standard Wi-Fi here at the shop. Okay. Now it says software updates available. This is on my phone screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download. Now, when you're downloading this, make sure you're not taking phone calls, you ignore text messages, and you just leave your Active Captain app open and hanging out. This takes a little bit. It's not a terribly long system. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes all the way up to 40 minutes. It actually depends on how strong your Wi-Fi is, a lot of it. Uh, mine's going pretty fast. We thought we were gonna have to do a cutscene here, but I'm already at 75%, so we're just gonna hang with it. Once it downloads to your phone, we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So again, I'm on my phone screen here. It tells me that the software updates are ready for transfer. So now I need to reconnect to my Garmin device. So again, swipe down, hold my Wi-Fi, and go back to the Garmin, the Garmin 5195. It says I'm connected, no internet available, that's all fine. Now here's where you're gonna give it a second, guys. So I've reconnected to my chart plotter. And now it says no software updates available, but let's hang in there for a second and see what pulls up. Boom, there it is. There's that patience. So the transferring software update has now begun. It'll simultaneously show it on the screen and on the app. Again, while you're doing this transfer process, if your phone rings, don't answer it. Don't leave the app, just stay in there so you're not gonna cause any issues in the transfer. Now this can take Again, up to 20 to 40 minutes. It just depends on how fast your Wi-Fi is going and all that. So now we are gonna to go to the cutscene. See you back in a sec. A few moments later. And we're back from our break. So we're at 96% and counting here. Hang on there, 97. Oh, home stretch. This is where you start freaking out that you're, you know, someone's gonna call and it's gonna be like, oh, I really gotta answer it and you're done. And here we go, we're almost there, 99, kick on over, and now it goes into validating. So you just thought you were done. <laughs> It'll validate a lot faster than it does the download itself. Um, but it runs through this process, and that's what it takes to go to the next step. It's making sure the software update's good, it's not corrupted, and all those good things. Okay guys, there we go. Everything's validated, and now we have our message on our screen. It says software updates are ready for installation on your system. We're gonna click review. And up here, you're gonna see install now. Go ahead and click that. And then say updates can take a long time to complete. They must not be interrupted. Shall we continue? Make sure your voltage isn't low on your boat. You can't do anything. You can't turn your unit off. Nothing can happen to it. This is kind of the same process with making sure your phone doesn't ring or you don't answer it anyway and all that stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Your screen's gonna black out. Don't freak out. It didn't turn off. Then right after that, you're gonna get a white screen here and it's gonna start updating. Now this is updates moving pretty fast. And we're just gonna let it rock. Here's something cool to talk about. We'll let this do while this is cooking. If you have other devices on your boat, most of the time here when we do installations, we're talking about multiple graphs and generally with Garmin, of course, we're talking about a live scope. Anything that's connected, via the marine network, so your ethernet cables. You can do all of the updates from a single graph. Um, here we go, software is loading on the screen. So what do I mean by that? So if I've got a boat and I've got a unit at the bow, a live scope at the bow, and a unit on the console, I'm gonna do this process generally just from the console, and that's because I like to sit down in the seat. Well, I do it. You could also do it from the bow. Single active captain card, and it will update everything all at once. Right now it's scanning the marine network, which I don't have anything hooked up to this unit, so it should scan it pretty quick and then move right along. But again, keep that in mind. If you have multiple units hooked up together and networked, you only have to go through this process one time and the unit will automatically update the other items on the network without you having to take any further actions. Pretty cool feature. Okay, 
So once it goes through and scans your network again, there's nothing hooked up to this unit. It's gonna give you the message that it's complete and you're okay to restart your device. Go ahead and select okay. And it'll restart. Now when it fires back up, you're gonna have your new update available and everything will be ready to go. Here we go. Oh, you, it was a short flash there, but it said 13.3. So it tells us right when we fire up the unit that we're where we wanna be. And here in just a sec, I'm gonna go in the menu and I'll show you how to check that and verify that you have the, unit, the, the version of software that you want. Okay, so once your restart is gone, then we wanna go check and see where our software is at. So we're gonna go into settings, system, system information, and software information. So we see how our Echomap UHD here is on 13.3. So it's where we want it to be. So the software is updated and done exactly what we want it to do. It's a little bit of a complicated system, guys. I've done this a bunch of times and I can tell you that the more you do it, the easier it gets. The big trick is remembering how to bounce back and forth between your Wi-Fi's. That's the, the biggest struggle that most people have. Key things to remember is make sure you go to the store and make sure you have your fresh memory card. We like eight gig cards, they do just fine. You know, we have no issues with those. Like I said, we buy them in bulk on Amazon. You can use a 16 gig card, card as well. Mo the Echomap line are gonna run micro cards. They're gonna be the micro SD cards. Generally, when you go to the store, it's gonna be a larger card with the micro that pulls out of it. For you guys running the 1022s and the 1222s for your live scope combos, they actually run the full size memory cards, so you'll just make those in, but the steps are very, very much the same. Some of the controls are different because it's non touch screen, but again, the steps between your phone and your unit are the same to do your updates. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. Big shout out to Brother Joe because he was needing this video pretty bad. I still haven't got my cookies, by the way. But for the rest of you guys, if you have questions on the updates, Hope this settles it up for you, but if you do have other questions, always feel free to reach out and give us a call, 316-313-4113, or shoot us an email at sales at We'll see you guys next time.